This project consists of two components. The first is an alarm that will sound based on the light level in the room or based on the time of day. The second is a light that turns on and off either by the push of a button or by a sound cue, which is two claps. The alarm will only function off of either the light level or the time of day. The variable here, wake on light, determines that. And wake on light is determined by the alarm time down here, which is set right here. As it currently is, the alarm will be triggered by the level of light since alarm time is left blank. But say I want to change it to 8 a.m., it will now go off at 8 a.m. and ignore the light levels in the room. For the light, the button and sound cue will both work to toggle it. You simply push the button to toggle, or clap twice. For the sound cue, after your first clap, you have 5 seconds to clap again, or it will disregard your first clap. Hardware used in this project includes a buzzer, which is used to create sound for the alarm, a LED, which is used as the light, a microphone, which is used to detect the sound cues for the light, a push button, which is used to toggle the light, a photoresistor, which is used to detect light levels, an ADC, which is used to convert the analog inputs from the mic and photoresistor into digital data that the Pi can process and resistors, which are used to keep the LED from blowing out, and used in conjunction with the photoresistor so we can calculate its resistance. The data that gets collected and processed is the envelope data from the microphone. It gets stored in a numpy array, rounded to the nearest tenth, and then values that are not the threshold value are discarded, and depending on the size of the data array, it will do different things. This is a graph of the envelope data. Our threshold value here is 0.5. Here, we see these first two spikes, which indicate two claps, after which the LED will be turned on. As soon as the code sees the first threshold value from the first spike, which would be right about here, it will pause for a little bit so that the LED is not falsely triggered by the other side of the spike here. Then it sees the second clap, and we'll toggle the LED. Over here, we have someone clapping once, then not clapping for a while. Five seconds from the first clap, if there is no second clap, it will then discard the first value, and you will have to clap twice more to get the LED to toggle. To summarize, this project consists of an alarm that sounds based on either the time of day or the light level in the room, as well as a light that toggles based on a button being pushed or a sound cue.